Hi guys, it's Dr. CY, the running dog, and thanks for tuning in. Today, I present to you two of the latest affordable running shoes from Nike, the Downshifter 13 and the Revolution 7. I have reviewed each of these shoes individually. I've given all the details and you can find that video up here in my channel. However, a lot of my subscribers have continued to ask questions concerning these shoes, wondering which of these shoes is better for various activities. And that is why I've decided to make this head-to-head -head comparison to answer all the questions anybody can have about these shoes. Before I go into all the details, I must implore you once again to please hit the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. You know, it helps the channel to grow and encourage us to keep making even better content. And at the end, if you like the contents of this video, please remember to hit the like button so that the YouTube algorithm can also show this video to more people. Now, back to these shoes. We kick off this comparison by putting these shoes on the scale. The Revolution 7 weighs 300 grams, while the Downshifter 13 is 9 grams heavier, tipping the scale at 310 grams. 2. Cushion. The Downshifter 13 is softer, offering a very nice cushion. In fact, as much cushion as you can get from the more expensive Pegasus, keeping the legs fresh after runs. The Revolution 7, on the other hand, is firm, offering very little cushion, so the legs are beat up after runs. Number 3. Response or bounce back. I was impressed by the level of response I got from the Downshifter 13. Very nice and impressive. The Revolution 7, on the other hand, offers much less in energy return. So here, the Downshifter 13 is so much better. Number 4. Comfort. Now, the upper of the Revolution 7 is softer and feels nicer around the feet. However, the underfoot comfort, the arch support, the toe box width are all better in the Downshifter 13. So overall, it is a more comfortable shoe to run in. Number 5. Lockdown. Now, both shoes offer nice lockdown, no heat slippage in either shoe. However, the Downshifter 13 has provision for the runner's loop, while the Revolution 7 does not. And uh, on breathability, the upper is thicker in the Downshifter with more padding, so the Revolution 7 is more breathable. Now, let's talk about stability. I find both shoes nicely stable, no problem at all. And then the run test. How did these shoes perform on the road? The Revolution 7 gave a firm, smooth ride, but offered very little protection to the legs. So beyond 5 to 7 kilometers, there was pain in both the ankles and the feet. It did not drag, but it also did not offer much in terms of response or bounce back. The Downshifter 13, on the other hand, gave a nicely cushioned, smooth and responsive ride and offered decent protection to the legs, so they felt fresh after runs. It is 9 grams heavier than the Revolution 7, but that did not make any difference as it is much more bouncy. Number 9. Durability. You can rarely talk confidently on durability of shoes until you have used them for a long time. Both are still relatively new shoes. Their also pattern and rubber thickness are similar, so I expect decent mileage from both. Their grips on pavement are very good. Number 10. Price. Now, here in Saudi Arabia, the Revolution 7 is selling between 249 to 375 Saudi Rial. That's approximately 66 to around $100, depending on the size you are buying, the size and the colorway. While the Downshifter 13 is a little more expensive, still at almost $100 on most sites. But I understand it is much cheaper in other countries. So overall, the Downshifter 13 costs a little more, but it offers a much better running experience on almost all fronts compared to the Evolution 7. The Downshifter 13 is a very decent running shoe that I can see beginners or anyone running comfortably in. The Downshifter 13 is the one that I will readily recommend over the Revolution 7. So that's it guys for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you in the next one.